this one is a little bit special. We're going to do duck breast with a slow gin sauce. And um, to accompany that, we're going to do fondant potatoes and sauteed cabbage. We're going to do the dish in three different parts. We're going to start doing the sauce first because you can leave that to a side and reheat it later to, to warm it through. Yeah. Then we'll work on our fondant potatoes because while they're in the oven we can fry the duck and get the sautéed cabbage going as well. So for the sauce you'll need three or four shallots, a 25 gram knob of butter, 150 mils of lamb or beef stock, I'm using lamb stock for this one. The key ingredient for the sauce a generous 125 mils of slow gin, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, two bay leaves, a healthy pinch of cracked black pepper, roughly 100 grams of blackberries, and approximately three tablespoons of brown sugar. Okay, so first things first, I've just got the lamb stock on the hob here. You just wanna bring that to the boil nice and slowly. Uh, while that's happening, we're going to chop and peel our shallots just the same way as you would an onion. We're also going to turn a pan on to a low heat and just melt our 25 grams of butter nice and slowly. Okay, now that butter's melted, I'm just going to add these shallots to the pan. Okay, so with our lamb stock that we have here, I'm going to add straight in our slow gin. I'm going to bring that back to the boil. I'm just going to leave that bubbling away for a couple of minutes. You can smell it already, it's, it's great. While this stock and the slow gin mix is, is bubbling away lovely for a few minutes, that's just burning off the alcohol from that sauce. And our onions are reducing down nicely here. So I'm just going to add our red wine vinegar my bay leaves and our black pepper. So this mix we've got going here has had about 10 minutes up to now. The only ingredients left to add to it are our blackberries and our onions that have been reducing down nicely. And turn the heat down so this sauce now, the aim with that is just to leave it, you want it to reduce by roughly a third. It should probably take you about 15 to 20 minutes. So our sauce has got about another 15 minutes to go, so we're just going to leave that and move on to stage two now while that's bubbling away. Our fondant spuds. Alright, so at this point we're going to turn our oven on to preheat it for the fondant potatoes to 200 degrees. For the fondant potatoes you need, again, 125 mils of chicken stock this time. And you need five or six large potatoes. I'm cooking for two, so increase the amount for however many people you're cooking for. I usually go by the rule of two potatoes per person. 25 grams of butter and a few cloves of garlic. There's no need to peel them, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with those shortly. And a few sprigs of fresh thyme. So the trick to making fondant potatoes for me is the, uh, the shape. So I'm not going to peel it as you normally would peel a potato. I'm literally going to slice the ends off. You do get a bit of wastage unfortunately, but it makes them look a little bit better. What you're aiming for is like a barrel shape. So you've got something that's shaped like that, okay? Repeat that with all your spuds. With the garlic then, there's no need to peel them and chop them. Just Take your knife in the back of your hand and just crush each one individually. So as you can see our sauce is coming together nicely. Every time you give it a little stir, just try and mash up some of these blackberries a little bit. After about 10 minutes worth of cooking you'll notice the sauce starts to thicken up a little bit. That's when we're going to add our brown sugar. Pour that straight in there and give it a mix up. It's quite important that for our fondant potatoes you use a pan or a roasting dish that can go on the hob and also in the oven. I'm going to melt our butter in our roasting pan on a high heat and I'm going to add our potatoes in standing up on end. What we're going to do 
is in that butter we're just going to fry the bottom of our fondant potatoes for about five minutes until they brown off then what we're going to do is turn them over and pop them in the oven with our chicken stock on there as well so what happens is the potatoes soak up all that lovely chicken stock with the thyme and the garlic in there too the potatoes come out really crispy on the outside nice and golden brown really soft and fluffy in the middle and they're brilliant potatoes for any dish especially with this duck so like I say this is our fondant potatoes just starting to fry off in that butter there obviously there's the rest of the butter to melt it's going to take about five or ten minutes for the potatoes to, to brown up on the bottom potatoes are on and our sauce from earlier is really starting to thicken up now it's also taking on a real nice dark colour so we're just going to turn that heat off and we're just going to move it out of the way and that can stay there for later when we're going to run it through a, a sieve to get rid of any of the lumps and bumps in there Stage one was the sauce, which is resting on the side. Stage two is the fondant potatoes that are frying off in the butter here. Now stage three, the most important bit, is our duck. To dry out this skin a little bit, because what we want to get the skin nice and crispy and we want to render all that fat, we're just going to take our knife and just score this fat both ways in a crisscross shape, all the way. And we're just going to rub it with a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. And just get it all rubbed into that lovely skin there. Okay, so our fondant potatoes look like they're done. Okay, you see you've got this lovely golden brown colour on one side. It's still nice and raw on the other. So if you take the time to turn every one of them upside down, so the golden brown bit's facing upwards, and then we're going to add our chicken stock add our sprigs of thyme and add our garlic cloves in there and then pop that in the oven that's going to want a good half an hour in there on about 200 degrees so now our fondant potatoes are in the oven it means we've got about half an hour to play with so that sauce we took off earlier we're going to take a sieve and a bowl and you're just going to strain our mixture through the sieve. So the sautéed cabbage, one of the most easy but most rewarding things you could ever use on a roast dinner or anything like that. It's great accompaniment for duck as well, so that's what we're going to use today. So for the sautéed cabbage accompaniment, you'll just need some thinly chopped white cabbage, a 25 gram knob of butter and a generous amount of salt and pepper. So the cabbage goes in a pan with some melted butter, salt and pepper, that's it. Just saute it, toss it around in the pan a little bit and then set it to a side and leave it for now. I'm using a wok because it's got deeper sides on it so it's easy to keep the cabbage in when we're tossing it around. I'm just melting down our butter in there and all I'm going to do, whack our salt and pepper in, whack our cabbage in, just give it all a good stir around. Our fondant potatoes have been in the oven for about 15 minutes and you'll see everything starting to come together nicely here. So our sauce is at the side resting as well. That's just on the lowest heat possible just to keep it nice and warm. Our sautéed cabbage has just gone on. We've got 15 minutes left and that's the amount of time we need for our duck. So really, really, really important. Your pan needs to be really hot for this. Little bit olive oil in your pan. With the duck, you don't want to be prodding around with it again. It's nicely seasoned, skin side down. Just leave it for about eight to 10 minutes. What that's gonna do is it's just gonna render down that fat underneath the skin and help the skin to go really crispy as well. Duck's had about eight minutes, just coming up on that now. 25 grams of butter, straight in. So now we've turned the duck breasts over. You see the skin's lovely and crispy on the top. And what you want to do is just baste that duck with the melted butter. I'll show you what it looks like. It's so appetizing. It looks and smells fantastic. Next thing, heat off. So now that duck's off the heat, it's just going to sit in that hot oil and the butter for about five minutes and that's just going to finish off the cooking nicely. So my personal favourite moment, other than the eating of the actual dish of course, the carving of the meat. I'm just going to take our tongs and take one of our duck breasts. Make sure your knife is sharp. Just going to slice.
slice straight through that duck breast. Let me tell you, this is absolutely perfect. I'm not going to go all the way through the duck. Set that end bit just so I can show you how it's cooked. Absolutely perfect. So all that's left to do now is plate up. You take some of our sautéed cabbage and then I'm going to take our duck breast, pop that over there as well. We'll take our fondant potatoes, just going to stand those up around the plate. We've got our fondant potatoes and our duck on there, our sautéed cabbage. And pop a little bit of this slow gin sauce over the top.